So this is my small budget goldfish tank. Four goldfish. It's a 36 inch tank. It's a, quite a narrow tank. It's only uh, 12 foot or 12 inches wide. And it's uh, 15 inches deep, but there's only about 11 inches of water in it. It holds 65 litres. I measured the water going in. Quick video on uh, my 30% weekly water change. And uh, this week, uh, inside this tank is a Fluval U3 filter and uh, a sponge filter. One week I clean out the U3 filter. The second week then I will clean the sponge filter. So I'm never cleaning both filters at one time. I'm just using a little uh, plastic siphon, cheap siphon, only costs a few quid. You need to be very careful. I have fine substrate in this tank, so you need to be quite careful when vacuuming the bottom that you're not sucking up all the substrate. You will suck up some substrate anyway, no matter what you do. I don't even bother changing, turning off the filters or nothing when I'm doing the water changes. Two dishfuls is about generally what I take out of this tank. Luna, get in here. I would normally clean the glass with a magnet, just the front glass, when I'm uh, doing the water changes, but it doesn't seem to be that bad this time. Get out of it, Luna. So that's my 30% water out. Come on, Lena. So, tell you, you, I just open up my filter, take out one sponge, squeeze the sponge inside in the tank water, get out of it, come on. One other wood. Squeeze the sponge out in the tank water. Put it back into the filter. Put that back into my flue valve. Take out the other side. Clean it out in the water just by gently squeezing it, rubbing it, etc. Filters don't need excessive cleaning. Back in again. There's a bit of there's a bit of jab on all stuck on the side of this, so I'll just pull that out and I'll uh, 
I was just going to stick it into the gravel here somewhere. It may grow, it may not grow. It's not really uh, that important. <coughs> then I take out the center carriage and uh, I give it a good old, a good squishing in, in the water. The, uh, the center carriage of this few value tree. What I do? Of this flu value tree has got uh, a center carriage with biomedia, and I just uh, I have actually extra biomedia in this filter than it came with. I have about twice as much biomedia in that filter as it came with. Once you rinse it, pop it back in the middle. It only fits in one way. Make sure your filter is then stuck uh, back onto its place again. I'll leave that water then. There for a Now I fill my tanks with a garden hose and I don't use the chlorinator, right? Now I don't recommend doing this unless you're sure that your tap water only, only contains chlorine or chlorine. If it only contains chlorine, it's safe to do this because spraying the water in releases the chlorine. So you don't need to waste money on the chlorinators unless, unless you have other chemicals in your water. But if you're not sure, always use tap safe. But if you are sure, this is quite a fine, uh, quite a safe way to do it. And you just spray the water in. You just spray the water in, that's all. That releases all the chlorine out of the water. I've been doing this for years this way. Uh, very rarely would I buy tap safe or anything like that there, unless I'm setting up a, a tank for the first time. So this will take a couple of minutes to fill this tank again. Lena, what should I do? I'll 
I set up this tank five, five months ago in order to show people how to keep uh, goldfish on a budget in a small tank. Reasonably safely, reasonably well, that your goldfish are happy and healthy. Luna, watch out, Ruth. Oh, out. That your goldfish are happy and healthy and don't suffer. The cycling videos is all in my other videos, part one to three, on when I set up this time. Anybody watching the videos will see the difference in the size of the goldfish that they were now. It's very important to do weekly water changes on goldfish. Not because of nitrates, not because of ammonia, not because of anything. It's important because fish, goldfish, all carp type fishes release a chemical into the water that stunts their growth. And without weekly water changes to dilute that chemical, you're going to stunt your goldfish. And the fact of the matter is that most goldfish are actually stunted in the first three or four months of their life before you even buy them. And that's unfortunate. And the only way around that is just to get some goldfish off somebody who has a large pond who has some goldfish that spawned inside their pond and then get some baby goldfish off them. That's one of the few ways you can be sure your goldfish won't be stunted. Now you can see all the bubbles that's in there from the spray and that's actually chlorine being released. And it's the exact same chlorine and bubbles that's being released when you put the chlorinator in the water and turn on the tap, you always see excess bubbling in the water with the dechlorinator. It's releasing the chlorine, the same way as spraying in this water is releasing the chlorine. Chlorine is a suspended gas in water. It's not a liquid, it's a suspended gas in water. Now I know from experience that doing a 30% water change that my tank will never drop below 5 degrees from what it was before it started even when adding this tap water. And 5 degrees is the, is the range that's acceptable for a goldfish before they receive thermal shock. They're actually loving this fresh water going in here. That's that, folks. Oh, I'll just put it in for a little bit. Sorry about the dog here, but I can't do anything about him, really. Okay. That's that, folks. Done and dusted. All we have to do now is empty the two dishes down the drain. to me big tank which is a 700 litre tropical aquarium that holds tiger barbs a couple of Siamese loaches green and normal tiger barbs and five bala sharks Siamese loaches two of them tiger barbs 
And there's also two feather fin squeaker catfish in this big tank also. That's one of them in, in the back of the wood there. And my fish never suffered from putting topping them up by spraying the water in. Never have suffered. And I've been keeping fish now for 37, 38 years. It's very hard to take a video of that tank with the light. I've actually topped this one up while I was emptying the water out using the same hose, spray it in. That's the result. Happy, crystal clear water. Perfect goldfish. Beautiful. Any questions? Leave them in the comments. Thank you.